Welcome back. You're tuned in to Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. It started the rain, so we're now in the garage here in the Adirondacks, and we're going to change subjects. We're now going to talk about some really cool aspects that have happened in the way of engineering in marine pumps. And who we now have on the program is Greg Partis. And Greg is the general manager of one of the biggest pump companies in the marine industry, okay, that there is, SPX Johnson Pumps. And Greg, every boat out there needs a bilge pump. Absolutely. You've changed the game here. All right, Let, let's talk first about the housing and, and how it's kind of like one housing fits all. All right, Sh show everybody a, a Johnson pump housing. Absolutely. The humble bilge pump, it's available in every boat. Every, every boat has a, has a bilge pump. From small to large, you typically have to have a bilge pump. Notice what we've done with the design. This pump body on here is the same across the line. So from our 500 to our 750 to our 1000 to our 1250, we've used the same size pump body. Now why would we do that? What this allows us to do, John, it allows us to take a 500 gallon motor cartridge like you see here and if somebody wants to upgrade capacity they can actually upgrade and go to a 750 and say I need another 250 gallons but because we've kept the pump body the same size and the motor cartridge design the same size you can now upgrade that pump body to a 750 or and you don't have to change the housing you guys. don't have to change the housing you can also upgrade to a thousand gallons through a three-quarter inch discharge alright I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of advice boat builders when they're first putting these pumps into a craft okay what they'll do is they'll oftentimes just for a price point kind of thing put in the bare minimum so say for example you live in a heavy rain area okay here in the Adirondacks yeah it rains almost every day okay and I'm in and out of the camp all summer long I keep my loom craft it's open it's not covered right at the dock I mean it's open to rain and uh, and those people I mean if, if, if you're like us, okay, and you're in a heavy rain area, you might want to have a higher capacity pump rather than what the boat manufacturer first put into it. So you could switch on the same housing Correct. from a 500, you could go to a 750 Correct. gallon per hour pump, a thousand gallon per hour pump. What would the cost be for just replacing the, the actual motor? Typically it's running between 20 and $25 to change out that motor cartridge. That's, that's, that's a bargain. That's nothing. Okay, where can people at home, where can they get a Johnson pump? Where can they get a motor replacement? Okay, and where can they get more information? Because you guys make a lot of different pumps. Where can they get more information on a great pump for the marine industry? These are available at your big box retailers, Cabela's, Bass Pro, West Marine. They're also available online from, from many sites. Uh, your local dealers also carry the, a wide array of, of Johnson Pump products and replacement motor cartridges. And for more information on the entire Johnson Pump SPX line of marine products, uh, you can look us up at spx.com. Greg, thank you so much. Right now, guys, we need to take our last time out of the day, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to show you how we finished up the pontoon boat. Hope it's going to look amazing. I think it will. You know our work. We'll cover it right after this. Don't pull the plug. The boats, the tools, and ShipShape TV will be back in a snap.